Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Zach, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is August 19th, 2024. And today is Monday morning. So looking at the highlights today, we're watching gold hit to all time record highs and hold on. But first, looking at today, no major economic events scheduled. So as we look at the various markets, a bit of a rotation happening, starting out with the Forex symbols, the major pairs advancing and extending gains versus the US dollars. And as we look at the indices, the Dow Jones and the NASDAQ rebounding as the dollar getting weaker, those two elements holding strong. Now, it's coming to an end of a rebound, so just be aware of it. Now, looking at, at commodities, is gold pushing to all-time record highs, while oil and natural gas tapering lower. But looking at the stock, Cisco had a gap up last week and holds on above its 200-day moving average. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin remains unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. First with the EURUSD, a couple of things about this. We're starting out with a weekly chart. You can see we're hitting our 200 day moving average. Now, I don't think we're going to break above it, but this is really important because we haven't come close to this in over a year. And this is really very important as it's making this bid higher. Now, I think it's at the end of the move, okay, but it did make a higher high, so you got to just respect it for now. Look at GBPUSD also getting closer to its 130-ish level. So this is happening across the board. Australian dollar also just a little bit stronger versus U.S. dollars. That has made a comeback. If we look at a daily chart, a bit of a decent comeback for the Australian dollar as well. All right, now jumping into commodities, look at gold. All-time record highs above 2500 now that's a first if you look at a weekly chart sure enough it's holding on to it did break above it if we look at a daily chart it will use 2478 as a support now i'm not going to say it's going to retrace to that necessarily right away but just keep that in mind as we're hitting this new all-time record highs we'll be consolidating unless we push it up even higher now looking at crude oil tapering lower here to 75 dollars a barrel and natural gas also to two and ten cents okay that's a pretty decent hold for natural gas now jumping into the u.s markets right we're at the extension or the latter part of the extension of this big rebound that we had i mean we were at thirty eight thousand six hundred we're at 40,700, that's over 3,000 points in over a couple of weeks. That's a major comeback for the Dow Jones. However, keep in mind that the stocks are not making all-time record highs, but the stocks did rebound. There's no discrepancy between the markets and the stocks, which is a good thing because they're trading in tandem. However, that doesn't give us a necessarily a indication where the markets are gonna go next. If the markets had rebounded and the stocks had stayed somewhere lower, that would mean to me that the index would actually catch up to the stocks. Okay, so keep that in mind as this has rebounded. Looking at the NASDAQ also, almost 50% of that rebound. So you can see the NASDAQ is not as strong. Now, if we look at the individual stocks, like the leading ones, Apple, it's just about the same thing. It looks almost the same thing. Micro Meta, though, is on its highs. Okay, if we look at a daily, it's closer to its all-time record highs, a little bit stronger. Okay, so there's variances how you can compare the market to the specific stock. Okay, and that's really important stuff. Okay, at JP Morgan, completely different stock, different category, different index. Okay, JP Morgan is almost at its all-time record highs as that has rebounded big. Okay, so those are the highlights. Those are the ones that I want to highlight as much as possible. And lastly, looking at Microsoft not there so this is weaker does this mean that the markets are going to catch up to microsoft perhaps because remember microsoft was a really important component now lastly looking in terms of stocks cisco had that big gap up last week on a daily above its 200 day moving average and holding on to it as long as it holds on to that 200 day moving average it is showing us some decent strength and we may see some upwards momentum now looking at the chip stocks AMD also got a bounce, but again, not such a strong bounce. And lastly, NVIDIA did get a bounce. If you look at it, you can't see it on a four-hour chart. And these charts are killing me, okay? When when we look at, yeah, it's just very difficult. Okay, high was 135-ish level, okay? It did retrace to 90. Now it's at 122. 
So it's almost about 70%, let's say, rebounded, okay? Usually it's a 50% rebound, so it's trading above the market here. The video are getting stronger as well. Lastly, looking at Bitcoin. Take a look at it. It's a 58, not much of a change, just shy of that 60K. And showing some weakness, if you ask me, okay? Not great weakness, but showing some weakness, okay? It'll continue trading in this range until it doesn't. And pops out in either direction so just be aware of it that's just the nature of the beast when it comes to bitcoin now lastly i'm just going to cover the vix remember the vix is a volume index it just um engages the volume it's down after that massive sell-off that we had it's down tremendously all right so this is important to note because every so often we get these spikes okay which we got okay that was three thousand points on the dow that's going from 13, 14 to 33, significant, okay, very, very significant, and so that was an opportunity to short the VIX, I mean, that, that one was one that got away. This is Fed Rezac, I want to wish you guys a great trading day, thank you.